Early on in his magical exploration, Lon stumbled across the writings of Alistair Crowley. But the rumors about Crowley, that he was a Satanist, that he was dangerous, that he was evil incarnate, filled Lon with dread. Determined to overcome what he saw as superstitious fear, Lon sat down to read the most sacred text of Crowley's teaching. When I first got a copy of the Book of the Law, I thumbed through it, and in the back I read the comment. It was the first thing I read in the book. And the comment says, Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. The study of this book is forbidden. It is wise to destroy this copy after first reading. Whosoever disregards this does so at his own risk and peril. These are most dire. Now, when I read that, I felt for the first time I really had a magic book in my hand. He read the first two chapters and found the text intriguing and moving. He now knew he had Crowley all wrong. Then he got to chapter three. And it starts off, let it be first understood that I'm a god of war and vengeance. I shall deal hardly with them. And all of a sudden the whole tenor of it changes. It becomes violent. And later on, it gets really wild, you know. Uh, uh, curse them, curse them, curse them with my hawk's head. I peck at the eyes of Jesus as he hangs on the cross. Flap my wings in the face of Mohammed and blind him. I'm going, whoa, what's this? And all of a sudden, all of that waxy buildup of doubts that I always still had about Crowley, I was going, wow, he is the devil. <laughs> you know, oh, no and I read the rest of the, the book, and my hands are literally shaking because I had set myself up so much of the, the great magic in this book. For Lon, this magical book provoked a magical act. He decided to take the book at its word and destroy it after first reading. And it says in the third chapter, paste the sheets from right to left, whatever th that meant. At the time, I thought, well, well I'm going to glue every page together to every other every other page i went out and got elmer's glue and i and i glued the book sealed it up you know like in the, the book of revelations they seal up the book so i did it with elmer's glue and i tried to set it on fire and i had a book of matches and i had alcohol all over my hands even and i finally when i got the match to light it set my hands on fire and i was like ah! <laughs> yeah and the whole thing, I was so, so freaked out. The book had freaked me out. Lon finally succeeded in setting the book on fire. And so it burns from the cover back. And so the first thing I see is the book of the law on the cover going, the book of the law. You know? and, and it becomes an experience, a visual experience. And I get to see the book, every other page of the book, burn away. I can read half of it all over again in flames. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the whole thing is like this, this, like a satanic opening of Bonanza. You know, <laughs> the very last thing that burned away th that I could read was that comment at the end. The last thing I saw curl up in in flames was the study of this book is forbidden. <laughs> It is wise to destroy this copy after first reading. Well, you know, at that moment, I realized, well, it's, it's too late. <laughs> okay, it's too late. It already had changed my life.